Okay, this is starting much like Greta's birth vlog. We, I've been trying to get myself into labor for almost a week. <laughs> I'm two days past my due date. Um, Brett's about to come in the car. Induction set for today. Didn't think it was going to happen because last night I called and they told me that, oh, you can't really see me, huh? Last night I called and they told me that I wasn't going, that they probably didn't have room with us that night. Hi, Annie. Uh, they didn't have room, and so I was assuming I wasn't going to this morning, so 5 o'clock came and I kept sleeping. Well, I didn't realize I was going to keep sleeping, but kind of, and so I had Brett call at 6, and he said, come in as soon as possible. <laughs> Ooh, it's really cold. I have your sweatshirt. Do you want it? Um, and so, yeah, so last night I didn't straighten my hair. I didn't unload the memory card. I didn't do anything in preparation. I didn't brush my teeth. I don't think I brushed my teeth going to sleep last night. Unfortunately, I actually didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just to be so fun. tired last night. It was so late. Fast and furious. Very funny. <laughs> Anyways, so I was really, really, really hoping that my water is going to break on its own or that I'd go have contractions. But I did pray that whatever was supposed to happen would happen and that I would, well, I'd go into labor or have the baby on the day that I was supposed to. It is freezing in here. It's like there's no it's warm air. It's because the, it's on us. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, um, I pray, uh, yeah, a little, not really. Yeah, a little. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, let me clean this. Um, anyways, and so I feel like I still feel like they might send us home and be like, oh, somebody already took your place because we took about, you called about 40 minutes ago and it's going to take us 15 minutes to get there. But, um, honey, don't crash the car on our way there. Don't worry, I got this. Okay. Anyways, so. I drive so every morning. No, you don't. Honey, please drive safely. Serious. Um, anyways, so we're. Um, Hopefully this induction just means that they break my water, which isn't that painful, I hope, because it was terrible with Greta. Or maybe they'll be like, oh, you are having contractions, you just don't know it. <laughs> you actually had a nine. <laughs> I'd be a little scared. That would be pretty crazy, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to say I'm at a four. That's hopeful thinking. I was that a two last I Monday? I have lower expectations last Thursday. Just say three. And then if you are higher, I'll be like, what? Yeah. You know, I think there's definitely a chance to be higher than that. I've but. lost so much of my mucus plug. This is TMI. But I've lost so much of my mucus plug. I've had intense contractions, like ones that actually hurt at home. I haven't experienced that before with the girls because I was induced. So, I mean, I was only induced a day early with May. But I am days late now. And they're both breach. And I was induced six days early, so... Anyways, okay, That's well, exciting. we're on our way, and we'll see if this actually is the real thing. Like, if they all really admit us right now. On it it's weird with coronavirus because we can't have any visitors as I touch my mouth. <laughs> I haven't been out in the lot. <laughs> I was telling Kim and Zach when we were you know, told like to not like touch anything or uh -huh. anything. I was like, why is the inside of my mouth suddenly so itchy? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> No, but like, I, um, yeah, it's weird. We can't have any visitors at all. Brett can't switch out with my mom yeah. or anything. So you're, you're probably gonna, they're probably gonna have some specific band that you wear or something that's like, this is yeah. her visitor. Or like one you of know? those, like, hazmat suits. Very funny. Huh. No, but seriously, they're really, really, um, yeah. You know, Particular. this is just weird that I don't really feel like this is happening right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I've been, I've had it in my mind how I want it to happen. I'm not stressed though, but I am nervous about the IV and I am nervous about the breaking my water and I am nervous about the pain. So, so goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do great. Thanks. We're almost there, but it's a um, historical moment. <laughs> Gas is only $1.99 at Kroger. <laughs> But really, no, really, Seriously, though. That's pretty low. No, I don't no, really remember I, the last time it was that low. Like, yeah. I don't know. Well, did you tell me Sam's Club was $1.96 or something? Yeah, it was a shell station. It was $1.95. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah and um, 
but I don't think we're ever gonna have a baby again during a pandemic. Oh, I shouldn't uh, say that. I should knock on wood. There's no wood in this car. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I remind myself of Azure. <laughs> this, that was, <laughs> you weren't trying to act like Azure. I gotta take oh, that no. out. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were right. It is totally empty. Yeah, the hospital. This is as empty as I've ever seen the emergency room parking lot. It's crazy. They're probably. I don't know why people aren't here, actually. I would assume, like what you said. Okay, over and out. <laughs> Go. Yeah. <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah, most people wouldn't be here if it's not many people. Hospital. To the coronavirus epicenter. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> We're settled down in the well, not completely settled down. I'm hooked up. Um, my baby's heart rate is good. She didn't say anything about my blood pressure, so that must be good. <laughs> um, and yeah, there you go. Yep. And um, I thought somebody was coming. Yep. Here's Brett's little humble abode. No, we are in the room with the bathtub, which I'm so happy about. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take a bath because <laughs> if he induces me, and in, I mean, I'm getting induced. So if I have Pitocin, I can't. I don't think. I don't think. If they break my water, I can't. I wonder if I can if I am induced. I have no clue, honestly. Hmm, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, we are waiting for um, the nurse to do my IV, which I'm not excited about, and to take my blood, which I don't know why they have to do that, but they did last time, and I'm sure they did with May, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and... <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't cough in here. Just kidding. Just joking. <laughs> Not really. But um, I can't eat anything. I can drink, but I can't eat. So we're just Sorry. hanging out now. Uh, <laughs> we, I have my IV. Um, it took her one try. She did it quickly, and it hurt, but not not terribly painful. Although there's blood on my hand, but um. It hurt, but it wasn't. There's blood on my hand from when she took, oh, when she okay. did it. Um, <laughs> their plan is to break my water and see if that does anything. And if that doesn't do anything, then they'll give me pitocin. Um, I do feel like I leaked something though. Just a second ago. I don't know if it was pee or what. I didn't feel like I peed. I hope it wasn't. I hope it was my water, so he doesn't have to break it himself. <laughs> Um, they said if I, what? That'd be nice. Yeah, they said if I had my water broken, I said I probably wouldn't be able to take a bath. He said, not necessarily, so maybe I would be able to. With Pitocin, they're not going to let me take a bath because they have to be monitor monitoring me at all times. Anyways, so this is just us hanging out, waiting for the doctor to break my water or something. <laughs> Here's our room. Let me see if I can... It's a big room. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, let me. <laughs> the bathroom is really nice and big. Yeah, we have a good view. It's a nice room. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for now. It is um, eight forty-nine. No, 942. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, buddy. Keep that in there. Don't uh, it funny. <laughs> it's 942, and um, we got in here around 7 ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, anyways, oh man, I'm leaking so much. Um, He broke my water, and it was pretty not that. Yeah, it, was, it was like less painful than him checking me the first time today. <laughs> or like, I'm yeah. Glad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. So he checked my, or he broke my water, and I feel it, because I'm leaking so much, and I've already changed the pad underneath me, but you need to order breakfast. He gets three free meals, and we're going to call the girls and my mom, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. They said I could wait a couple hours to see if the water, breaking my water does anything, like, gets me into labor. If not, then we'll start the Pitocin. 
So, Exciting. yeah. So I don't think there's really anything else. We're just hanging out. They haven't th- mentioned anything about my blood pressure. Um, I thought that I had leaked a little bit, but it was just the gel that they had y- um, used when he checked me. Um, but... Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. But, yeah, we're just... It's really nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nothing. I'm going to wish good. that I was this comfortable, even though I'm not... The bed is not bad, but... Anything else? No. Anything else I'm missing? We have a really good nurse. Yeah, she's great. Jennifer. Yeah, right? she's, yeah. she's awesome. Yeah, she's great. My IV um, came in just fine. Looks kind of gnarly, doesn't it? Doesn't my hand look a little bit swollen? Uh, sorry. It looks like I'm connected to like <laughs> a lot more. I think I'm actually having contraction right now. I'm good. Oh, that's I know it's now. off, and you've been doing homework, and yeah. I can order some food for you. I'm getting over that like terrible, terrible <laughs> starving. So. Like I'm nauseous. I'm so starving. Yeah. I'm getting over it, so that's good. That's good, but I still feel bad. Um, don't feel bad. Okay. <laughs> well. Yay. Okay. What are you guys doing? Hi, Greta. Hi, May. <laughs> I know. Are you having fun with Grandma? Did you have cereal? Uh huh. And we had fruit snacks. <gasps> you have fruit snacks. Yeah. Fruit yeah. snacks. Oh, May, are you guys watching? A, are you guys watching a show? Everything. I'm not watching a show right now, but we want. All right. She's doing wall sets. <laughs> This is actually a really cool thing. Do you want to come see it? You, you know, with your gown and camera color. Yeah, it's cool though, because there's this, it's a seat. I've never... Yeah, so you won't yeah. fall. So I started feeling more crampy when I got up just and sat down here, so I want to get my contractions going Yeah. on their own. It's great. And You're doing good. helped me in the past, you mm-hmm. know? We should have brought a game. We should have brought, Man- brought Mancala. Yeah. Yeah. You, know? you give me an Indian burn? No. <laughs> yeah, I got up to the bathroom and my water's got everywhere. I, I didn't break it, it was already broken. But yeah. That's kind of embarrassing. The housekeeping lady was in here and I got up. I was like, okay, I'm not peeing. I'm not peeing. I'm really not. <laughs> it's okay. You can go later. You can go. I'm fine. <laughs> well, and then I just cleaned up. I mean, I cleaned it up. We cleaned, you cleaned it up out here, right? I cleaned it up in mm-hmm. there. For the most part, you helped me. But. I mean, with all this fluid, there's no no wonder I have to pee so much. Yeah, really? You know? Seriously. I mean, it's not very much fluid actually going into my body so far. I think it's a liter. But not, but all of it, all of it would be a lot. But I won't yeah. be under there. Yeah. You know? Anyways. Good job. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 You guys are cute. <laughs> Look, I'm filming you. Um, so I tried the birthing ball. Like I think we filmed on here. Last he checked me, which was a while ago, was a th- I was at a three negative three station and fifty percent effaced. Um, which I, I was talking to my sister Azra on the phone. Ah, man, I keep leaking amniotic fluid. It's like I'm literally peeing in the bed. You know how uncomfortable it is to be an adult, knowing, feeling like you're peeing in a bed and not do anything about it? If you have been a mom, you know. But if you haven't been a mom, that's how it feels. It feels like you're peeing in the bed. <laughs> uh, sheesh. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh, but I've never, like, I usually would get a, an epidural at, like, a three. With both of the girls, I think I was only at a three when I got an epidural. Which I'm really proud of myself that I got to a three on my own at home. I mean, like, in, I had the membrane sweep, and I've done things to try to get into life. Where, man, I am leaking so much water right now. Um, but oh, I thought someone was coming. But I was able to drink um, ginger ale with ice. And it's fine, I just had so much ginger ale this pregnancy, at the beginning of the pregnancy, because I was so nauseous, that it's not really my favorite 
beverage, but at least I can kind of like eat-ish, you know, and have something that's not water in my mouth because I've been so hungry. Even when we were at home, I was hungry uh, before we came. It was funny. I don't know if we, I think I said this, we were not expecting at all. I was not expecting at all to come in because last night they told me that it was really full and they told us to come in as soon as possible. I had Brett call him call the labor and delivery. I had my alarm set for five, but I kept sleeping. I didn't want to get up and call. And Brett, um, oh, sheesh, I'm leaking so much. Um, and Brett went out there. Greta woke up and he went out there and he called and he came and he's like, okay, they want us to come in right now or as soon as possible. And I was like, wait, are you serious? <laughs> so funny, but we're doing good. And the girls are doing good at home with my mom. I think Greta's probably going to go down for a nap really soon. And yeah, here's my IV. They have it ready to give me Pitocin. I tried just having my water broken to see if it would start my contractions, and it didn't really. I was on that ball for a little bit. Um, they had the peanut ball for me later. I didn't want to be pregnant, like, all day. Oh, hello. Um, but my doctor is the one that's on call tonight, so that makes me really happy. Okay. Well, that's all for now. I think the next time I'll update it, Brett's going to get, he got me this drink and now he's going to get, um, he works here so he has his, um, in his office there's snacks and stuff so he's going to get some snacks and go get the other stuff that we left in the car because I thought there was a possibility they would say, oh, actually we don't have room for you, but they didn't and here we are. So yeah, I'll update as soon as there's something new to talk about. Oh, that ball is awesome. Oh, yeah. Look at the back on that chip. Oh, look, that's her. Okay, there's the. Oh, wow, look at that contraction. Yeah, that was a big one. That was the one that was pretty bad. This year's doing nice good. One. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see there's your bed, bro? This will be the first place we've never had my spin on. And that light will keep her all nice and warm right here. That's a light. I keep her so nice and warm as she's laying down. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I, I'm going to guess 10.42 p.m. I'm giving myself a long time. Okay. 8 pounds, 7 ounces, 20. No, no, no. I'm going to say, I'm changing my guess. I'm going to say 8 pounds, 15 ounces. Okay. Like? 20 and a half inches. I think she's going to be a big my... baby now. Okay, Brett, let's no. hear your Okay. I'm gonna guess that she's gonna be born at 11 11. That's a good guess. Because. That's kind of cool. And That's then. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And then that she. Okay, she's not gonna be 7 pounds 11 ounces. No, definitely not. Yeah. I'll guess that she's 8 8. 8 8? Good. Eight, eight. Yep. Okay, and how long? 20 inches. No halves. Okay, guys, mine is way different from you guys. Then. Okay. My guess is that she's going to be born at 9.19. Oh, I hope so. I hope you're right. Yeah. And that she's going to be 9 pounds, 3 ounces. <laughs> and, and, and... I hope not. 27... <laughs> no. 27 inches. No, 20 inches. I think she'll be 9 pounds, 3 ounces, 20 inches. Hey, what are you doing? You want the blanket? Okay. So, okay. You've got it recorded, right? Yep, I do. We, um, I don't think I've updated since we've gotten Pitocin. Um, I was sitting on the ball and then I came here. I think I, I don't remember what I even say on here. Um, and then I, we were able to get the baby's heartbeat going again on here. I think at one point though she couldn't find the heartbeat because my bladder was so full and that's, and then went to yeah. and then the heartbeat was just fine. Well, I'm having another one. But they had started on me on Pitocin about an hour and a half after, I think an hour and a half-ish after I, they broke my water because my water isn't doing anything. I'm having a contraction right now, though. Would you move the mouse so we can see that? Oh, did it? Yeah, sorry. Um, that's why I, I deleted a bunch of stuff on my phone on, on this too, just so you know. Thanks. Um, I was at a two. See that one? Yeah. I was at a. I wasn't at a two. The pitocin level was at two, and then she moved it to four. And every half hour, she can move it up a couple. But since these are so intense, I don't know if she's gonna need to. Let me zoom in here though, so you can see. See, they're coming pretty regularly and pretty consistently. Um, 
and they're pretty intense. I told Azure and Brett that I just don't want to get my epidural until the pain of the epidural is less or, or less than the contraction level. Whoa. That went all goofy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the girls are doing good at home and we're just doing good. I'm proud of you. You're doing I want good. to take a bath. Sorry. I'm surprised they aren't taking my blood pressure right now. Yeah. Oh well. This ball thing though oops, what's that? Huh. This ball thing is amazing though, because they don't want you to fall. <laughs> so they have it in a chair. It's really cool. And there's all my postpartum stuff. Anything you have to say? Proud of you. You're doing really good. You're sweet. Love you. Watch your father the bride too. You're doing really good, honey. I'm proud of you. You're gonna probably want to change the audio from that one. <laughs> A little dog barking. <laughs> Seriously, you're like glowing. You're beautiful. <laughs> okay, so it is 2.40. Sears had a lot of really regular contractions. They're about less than two minutes apart. And big and painful. She's doing a great job with it. So she's having six milliliters of oxytocin an hour. And then opatocin, oxytocin. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it actually yeah, says. It's just synthetic. Yeah. You're doing good. You want to say anything? No, I had chicken broth. In oh, yeah. Vegetables. Yeah, she was a champ with that too because it was sodium free, which. I'm still drinking it. Whoever's idea was to make sodium free chicken broth should be very sorry for that idea. I don't think they salt the food in hospitals. You don't think they salt food in hospitals? I don't think so. Like, I think there's like natural salty things like cheese and stuff. Yeah, maybe so. No, that's what I think though. Okay, it's, it's not that bright outside. Okay, yeah. It's kind of a cloudy day outside. There she goes, drinking the chicken broth. We put a little bit of salt no, in there. Can you see it? Oh yeah. It oh. doesn't look very appetizing. No one doesn't. <laughs> but it's you're not cute. That good. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm so hungry. Mm. Mm, you're doing good. Keep breathing. You're doing good, honey. Keep breathing, you're doing good, sweetheart. There's a really big one, you're gonna be proud after. Good job, good job. You're doing great, honey, okay? It's coming down. I'm sorry. I'm gonna the epidural really soon. Um, and, but I'm gonna have one in a second, I think. But yeah. I got this on my finger. Look at how You're I official. look like an alien. <laughs> um, e deep, blown home. I got up to go to the bathroom and I leaked everywhere again on my socks. Okay. Um, you can. Okay, no worries. They come in here. You can yeah, just breathe. Mm -hmm. You're doing good, 
keep breathing, okay? Yeah, it's okay, yeah, keep breathing. You squeeze my hand as tight as you need. You're doing good. It's, it's so high. <laughs> 